Well, The Wonder of the Way that I selected was the first edition of The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien, which introduced the world to Middle Earth in 1937. And of all the places in literature, that is my favorite place to visit. Now, the book that we have here does not have a dust jacket, although we have a facsimile of the book that does have what the dust jacket would have looked like here. And you can see that the sun and the dragon do not have red ink because they didn't have enough money when they were printing these to have another color of ink, but Tolkien wanted them to be red. So we have the 50th anniversary edition of The Hobbit that does have a red sun and a red dragon, which is very neat to see that finally Tolkien got to have what he wanted on the cover. The actual book itself has detailing that was done by Tolkien. You can see mountains, there's a dragon design, some runes along the spine, which is wonderful that the author got to do art in the book itself as well. This is a map that goes along with the story. And then what is really special about the Wade's first edition of this book is that it is actually signed by J.R.R. Tolkien. That's very rare to have a copy that's signed. The other thing that's very rare about this particular book is that a lot of copies were stored in a warehouse that got bombed during World War II. So not a lot of them exist today. They're very collectible and they're delightful. The text itself is different than the text that we read today in The Hobbit. The first edition was written long before The Lord of the Rings and Tolkien didn't really know about the characters, how they would develop or how the plot would develop in The Lord of the Rings. So he went back to make changes to the first edition of The Hobbit later when he had written drafts of The Lord of the Rings and we see changes in Gollum's character, for example. He's more sinister in the second edition. The ring itself becomes a more powerful object. Uh, and there's other things that get slight changes as well. Now, if you want to learn about these changes, you can either come to the Wade Center and request to see this copy of The Hobbit, or if you can't get to the Wade Center, there's a wonderful book called The Annotated Hobbit by Douglas Anderson. This contains the complete first edition text of The Hobbit, as well as a lot of helpful notes about the book. I recommend it for any fan.